you can't have obstruction of justice when the president simply exercises his constitutional authority to fire, which he did of Comey, or even to pardon. What you need is Nixon-type crimes to have obstruction of justice. Nixon paid hush money to federal witnesses. He told his subordinates to lie to the FBI. He may have erased the tape. And those are the obstructions of justice that are charged. Uh, president Nixon could not properly be charged with obstruction for firing Attorney General Elliot Richardson. So I think that Barr has absolutely cut the, uh, the issue in the right place, indicating where obstruction could occur. No president's above the law, but the law is what guarantees that a president can't be convicted for firing or pardoning or conducting any other constitutionally protected act. Just like George Bush wasn't prosecuted for pardoning Casper Weinberger and five other people, which ended the investigation of Iran-Contra and infuriated the special prosecutor in that case, but no indictments ensued because the president cannot be charged with obstruction for simply carrying out his constitutional authority. Alan Dershowitz, we appreciate your time. Thank you.